Now let's take this question paper series ahead with another set of problems. This is based on isometric drawings and this is going to be a beautiful one. Yet it is tough. Okay, don't worry. And we all together can crack this. And let me tell you something. Whenever you see tougher questions like question number five or even question number six, uh, yes, they can fetch you 16 marks, but I want all of you to make this drawing manually on a plain sheet of paper please do it when you solve tougher problems for practice life becomes easy for you in the examination please remember this if you observe you have been given the front and top views of an object what you need to create is its isometric view a very important question let me take you uh, directly to the solution and here we go and by the way whenever you start uh, making any isometric drawing okay please remember to make these set of isometric axes draw a vertical and a horizontal and these line this line and this line are at 30 degree angles okay and then you can extend them in the backward direction in the backward direction and this vertical line sir uh, when does this line come into the picture this line over here this line is this all of these horizontal lines correspond to this isometric axis. I hope I have made myself absolutely clear. Secondly, sir, uh, when does this isometric line come into the picture? Here it is. Green and match the green. Keep on matching the green. Green, green, green. And sir, what about uh, this vertical line? Vertical line comes into the picture when we give all the points some heights okay heights can be observed in the front view here it is that is the height that is a height that is a height and this is how you can keep on changing the orientation of mini drafter according to the dimension you are working with okay whether it is along the isometric x isometric y or along the isometric z axis i think we can go ahead what is the maximum length so it is 132 what is the maximum width so it's 50 okay and uh, if you watch uh, there is something else i need to tell you this is 50 so 50 minus 16 will give you 34 half of 34 is here that is 17 another half is here that is 17 same is the case over here 17 17 this by the way is 22 22 22 this over here has already been mentioned 16 and 16 okay let me copy this on the next slide uh, here we go 17 17 22 22 16 Se no that's not 17 17 17 22 22 and 16 let me zoom in so that you can have a closer view of these sort of extracted dimensions isn't it okay so the first thing is to make a point here it is we've marked a point okay now how much is the length sir so it is 132 parallel to this line 132 132 132 done sir how much sir 17 17 17 done then 22 sir 22 22 okay 16 sir 16 okay 16 16 22 again 22 22 done 17 17 17 okay <laughs> you, you must be laughing again this line over here that is 132 again 132 132 okay i'm just giving you the hint how to place your mini drafter parallel to this line 132 and then close it okay this way this is uh, uh, you don't get to close it right away rather you have to travel 17 17 17 22 16 i hope you have got the idea 22 and then close it 17 done yes sir good to go how do we proceed from here mm, now what we can do is uh, uh, we are beginning by creating the entire top view first and then gradually we'll be providing the heights okay as given in the front view 
don't worry about that this center i mean this can be located very simply this is 50 so half the center would be somewhere along this line this line is at a distance of uh, this is 25 isn't it half of 50 now uh, secondly this is 132 half of 132 is uh, how much 132 by 2 okay let me say just write this as 132 by 2 so this has got to be 132 by 2 so you are going to locate the center this way okay let me mark the center sir what about these lines that you've just made what are these lines these lines actually represent the radius in isometric let me give you an idea of this this larger circle over here is having a diameter of 66 half it 33 is the radius so 33 33 this way okay and then 33 to the left 33 above done sir very well cover it this way i mean keep your drafter along this line make this line and this line similarly these two parallel lines so sort of uh, it will be enclosed inside this rhombus okay in fact <laughs> if i can just show you this this a square isn't it the, the isometric view of a square is a rhombus that is what we've just made and inside the square there is a circle and you know very well that the isometric view of a circle looks like an ellipse isn't it right and that is what we'll be making now uh, whenever you do this construction there is a larger diagonal and a smaller diagonal it is the smaller diagonals corners that we are interested in so we are talking about these two corners choose anyone to begin the opposite two sides will have these two points as the centers connect similarly choose this corner the opposite two sides will have these two corners midpoints not corners midpoints connect now these are the intersection points with this much as the center and with this much as the radius rotate then with this as the center and with this as the radius rotate again center radius again center and the radius rotate isometric view of the circle is done but this in fact is a cylinder okay it should look like a cylinder and then there is a depression over here can you see these sort of dashed lines they represent hidden feature so there is a depression right gadda hai pe. Samajh hai? okay the hole has a certain amount of depth uh, we'll talk about that don't worry <clears throat> so far so good sir what is next here it is if you observe carefully all of these points in the top view are having a height of 12 okay all of these points also have a height of 12 millimeters so i am going to raise all of these points by 12 millimeters and this construction is going to repeat itself 12 millimeter above this way done sir but uh but sir uh what about the cylinder we'll be gradually giving the height to the cylinder also you need not worry let's do that first of all let me give the cylinder uh, give the circle a height of 12 millimeters only so that we can reach here okay so what we'll do is let's take this point for example let me give it a height this much okay similarly what i can do i can choose another point and give it also one height choose this point 12 millimeters choose this point 12 millimeters 12 millimeters yes choose this point 12 millimeters again so i'll have a number of points all of these points are at a height of 12 millimeters okay and when you connect all of these points you have to do it very very professionally you don't need to make these lines rather i would suggest you keep your mini draft absolutely vertical and then at a height of 12 millimeters make a point okay keep on making points once you have sufficient points connect all of these dots with the help of a smooth curve like this smooth curve like this beautiful isn't it okay sir now uh let's say we are here when i say we are here that essentially means the lower circle the lower ellipse that you see this is the point what i'm talking about from here you need to travel a distance of total distance of 44 this distance is 32 but right from the bottom it's 44 32 plus 12 okay so from here 32 plus 12 that is 44 okay so now what but if you 
want to wish uh, work out the distance this distance over here this is 32 let me make the classification this is 12 i am i clear yes sir you are at a height of 32 again at a height of 32 again at a height of 32 keep on making points at a height of 32s hmm? maintain the consistency 32 32 32 32 once you have enough points join all of them right once you have enough points join all of them and again you are going to get a circle now you can clearly see that there seems to be a lot of confusion you may end up in a lot of confusion if you uh, don't keep your work light what i essentially mean to say that in order to take this construction ahead i have to get rid of some of the construction okay so that i as a teacher can give you a good perspective of how the entire isometric drawing looks like check this out once again check it out okay okay so this 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 elimination of all of those lines which which eventually won't be seen in the isometric view gives us a lot of lot more clarity okay but but we we, we need to <laughs> bring more clarity and in order to do that i am going to get rid of this curve also which actually falls behind this curved surface or lateral surface of the cylinder <sighs> chumantar <laughs> okay one more thing is left what about this why is there an edge there is no edge over here so get rid of it done sir very clean now our drawing looks very very clean now again we need to locate the center okay so what you can do is keep your drafter parallel to this line this way again parallel to this line uh, parallel to this line make a line of this sort then parallel to this line make a line of this sort and then wherever they intersect this is where they will intersect and from here try and zoom in this smaller circle is having a radius of 40 no 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 the diameter is 40 the radius will be half of it that is 20 so from here 20 to the right 20 to the downward direction 20 to the left 20 to the right up 20 20 20 20 20 and close it from here two lines from here two lines done now center point and radius draw similarly center point and radius use a compass draw center point radius draw center point and radius draw our circle is uh, isometric view of the circle is done and now we are going to get rid of the construction now we can see this circle actually is right at the top and it has a certain amount of depth how much is that what dimension can you see well, this is not my fault this is the <laughs> fault of the one who has set the question paper the dimension cannot be seen clearly um, looks like zero hmm? if you just try to make a comparison between these two dimensions this is 12 this is this looks like a bit smaller than 12 so i am going to assume that this dimension is 10 okay ab kuch dikhai nahi de raha hai to main kya karu jisne bheja hai question paper i'm sure ye question paper mein aapko correct kar raha hoga in the final examination but yeah we are going to take it as 10 so 10 mm below make a point 10 mm below make a point this way 10 mm below make a point 10 mm below please you have to go through this drill okay you simply need to make points and not draw lines simply mark these points and once you have got enough points and once you're confident that i can pass a smooth curve through all of them pass it right what do you think is this the final view no only this much portion will be remaining whereas this portion won't be seen at as it is for falling below this this space over here okay so let me get rid of it and this is what remains that's the final isometric drawing okay use a edge pencil the final touch up and if you want to see the construction okay some teachers get annoyed if you don't if you erase all the construction don't do that keep the construction alive okay just alive 
make sure your construction work is very very light use a very light sort of grayish pencil 3h pencil will do the job for you if 3h is dark then go for 4h your choice different companies i've seen have different level of darkness so uh, that is the problem you have to deal with but you can work it out okay light means light dark means dark and your construction along with the isometric is like this wonderful is that it if you can make this drawing i can guarantee you are going to get 16 marks for sure okay that's all from my side for this very problem